Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great. And in this video, I'm going to explain a solution of a query which I have received a couple of times. So the query is, I have a variable with a value and I need to get a specific amount of data from it. It's a one value. So maybe a specific amount of alphabets I can say. So I want last three digit, I want first two digit, I want middle of the values kind of so how i can achieve in a amdp level or uh, to write a sql query or it could be a table function concept okay so uh, for that i thought i re i responded back and i thought okay let's have a short video it could be useful for others as well and uh, to achieve that i'm going to use a concept called substring function for sql so which is going to be used in the sql concept so the same thing we are going to use it uh, in a, a different perspective from based on our requirement so slides is very simple uh, again it's kind of solution for a query it not be a very big uh, um, session probably five minutes or two minutes or seven minutes so substring is uh, the syntax for the substring uh, substring and the string value whatever it is it could be hard coded or a variable it's up to you and the substring and the string which you have to uh, take the value based on your requirement and then starting position of your string value may be from fourth position it should start from tenth position it should it should start and the length of the string from there how many uh, um, characters excuse me you need to pick so this is the very basic uh, syntax of substring and this substring can be possible in a variable uh, and this can be possible in AMDP as well as okay, uh, both the places in for the AMDP methodology. We have two concepts under AMDP. One is procedure and one is table function. So whatever I'm explaining is possible in both the places. So variable is equal to uh, substring and then variable or a hard coded value and then position. So four of ten, some example. And uh, if you feel uh, it needs to be an uh, internal table collection of records, suppose I want to keep it in my internal table, I don't want to keep it in a variable level, then you can make use of a table called dummy, you might have an effort, and use a select statement, select substring, and the string, whatever string, it could be a hard-coded or a variable, and then starting position, number of characters, you want to pick it. And it needs a alias name so as some name from dummy is a dummy table okay so, so the same thing is going to be your uh, database table also uh, suppose i have some fields i want to do uh, do this operation uh, in a particular field then you can use the same thing only difference could be your table name instead of dummy you're going to use your original table name and the substring can have n number of fields in the same select statement you can have a number of times uh, you can use the substring depends on your need but always you remember that uh, if any function to be used in any particular field that needs a allies name so same thing i am following here so this part is available the whatever i return the syntax is available or it's applicable in function as well as procedures okay and yeah so this is possible in both procedure and table function that's it i'll show you the same uh, both in procedure as well as table function okay substring concept Let's get into the Eclipse. This is my system. Um, I have created everything because it's very simple for you. I don't want to waste your time. So I have a class. This is AMDP procedure. Okay. So this is a class and interfaces here and uh, the method. Very simple. I don't have any import export parameter. But normally if it is an AMDP procedure that needs to be called from your uh, program. So you can have import and export based on your need. So here I'm going to use, I'm going to show you how we can use a substring. Okay. So I need a data. So declare um, local variable str. String uh, is going to be an VR, so you can R of 10. Okay. And I need a result. So I'm going to assign a value here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the substring for a variable. So the result is L, V, R, E, S is equal substring of 
variable so could be a st or as so a variable or your uh, you can say i want 6 so it's very less but okay so variable or a hard coded value suppose if you want a hard coded value you can do like this So like this, okay. So here is going to be override with the same variable. So this is in the variable level, and if you feel so, you know you can directly declare the internal table. So data one equals suppose if you use a dummy um, table substring. So again, either hard coded value or a variable you can use. Um, a substring using dummy okay so come on let's start with six and i need another uh, five characters only okay so as you can continue the same line as uh, the value was um, subs substring value from so this can be a variable also data two instead of substring using dummy you can use a variable lb string okay and the final one is going to be some database table so select mat nr and then i can say substring of MATNR, I want two of six as material and maybe MTART is the substring MTART. So two of two as material type from para. Okay. So these are the ways, uh, even here also if you want to hard code it, you can hard code it. Okay, so these are the ways where you can able to use a substring, especially to take the value uh, based on your own requirement. Okay, so just act about it. And um, I'm not able to, uh, what do you call, it? execute in a debugging mode because this Eclipse version having some issues like if I have a breakpoint, <coughs> <excuse me. coughs> then immediately I'm getting this option. So if you want to update in installation, either I can give update now or cancel. What happens is it just disable my breakpoint. So I'm not able to continue this like to execute and show you in the debugging mode. So it's not a big deal. Uh, if you know the understand the concept, either you can proceed with your debugging mode or you can get the value back to your program and display it. Okay, so it's very simple. So you can just try in your uh, side also. And if you want to keep the same, just copy paste in your table function also, it works. Okay, so let me create a table function quickly and then I'll show you how to keep it there. Okay. Mm, one, give a minute. So here, if I go, table function so z table function for substring substring finish oh i didn't select the template okay. um you have an option yeah here it is you have an option to override the template but make sure the cursor is keep in the exact place otherwise it just over it in the middle of your code properties templates and i want a table function template yeah this is the one so i don't want this delete end user is fine i don't want any parameters okay and i don't want this okay so here uh, just write whatever you want so matnr and then empty art empty art okay so class and method so ccl 
substring get data okay add to order and create the class about new class i'm doing it in my uh, eclipse itself next CCL substring for table function. Then I need to change in my table function also underscore df. Okay. So here it needs to be underscore df. Okay. And it need, I need to activate it. So then only while activating your class, it recognizes what is the class, especially for the method, because it's a table function. So, okay, let it be interfaces if amdp marker on our database. Am I not correct? So, amdp hdb. And here I need a method, so it should be a class method get data for table function, table function name ZTF substring. Okay, we are almost done. Method get data by database and this is going to be a function SQL script and options read only and using okay and this needs to be a return parameter so return select uh, okay so let me copy this and paste it here then i'll do the return okay so here i i, I would like to show you the same syntax is possible in table function also so here wow very good what is the issue source code is okay source code is incomplete probably i didn't close anything properly okay there's no end method okay so we are good <clears throat> and still there is an issue probably i didn't write the return statement yes uh, return is missing because as it is a table function it should return a value um client element name So yeah, those things are easy for you. Uh, I can say return client name M E A T N R M T A R T, or you can use a substring here also. C O B S T R I N G substring M E A T N R three seven as M E A T N R. So, okay, I must select. So, select uh, field name and okay, substring and everything. So, what is this issue? Invalid column name. What is the name there? Okay, sorry. M A D T S. Okay, so we are good. Let me act toward it. So done, it shows activated successful. So the substring is applicable uh, either in your table function or in your procedure also. So hope uh, you're good enough 
to understand about the substring so just play around it could be useful for your uh, small requirement how to get the exact uh, field length and the characters from the specific point for your business need okay so here also the same issue i'm not able to <coughs> show you in the debugging because of that pop-up so hope this is easy for you to understand either in the debugging mode or you can do it in your uh, get the data back to your table function uh, or you can get the data back to your program using the amdb procedures okay so just play around and if you have any doubt on this please let me know thank you so much for your time see you in the next video bye